This is Family Worship Experience International, a place of worship, word, and intimacy. Join us as we take a walk into the life-changing Word of God with Apostle Jonathan Shokonya. Lift your hands, bless the name of the Lord. Thank Him for light is prevailing over darkness. Thank Him for light is prevailing over darkness. Hora basta brem vreti kos kubra de ketila. Zeta babrianda raso balada vraka. Ezula bande brate kos kibrande kabriela gadesh. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You the mighty. You the glorious. You are the faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're the faithful God. Awesome is your name. Father, we thank you for tonight. You will do mighty things. You will do great things. Your name will be exalted. Your name will be enthroned over every challenge, over every predicament. Thank you for the things you will do. Amen. Tonight, are you here with an expectation? I want you to sincerely talk to God about that expectation, whatever it is. If you are sick in your body, you will tell the Lord, I don't want to live here with this infirmity. If you are here because you are trusting the Lord for a breakthrough, an open door, whatever it is, I want you to call it by name in the next one minute before you sit. Talk to God about it. Say, Lord, I came in here with this, expecting this to happen. Touch me. Touch it. I hope you are praying. Outside, let the Lord hear you. Zabarada Bako Shabrati. Let the Lord hear you talk to him that business. Let him hear you talk to him about that ministry. Let him hear you talk to him about that job about the company talk to the lord shora bakabras kila franda ketila You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey. You are Yahweh. You are seated upon the throne. Come on, pray. Pray. Take a high camera, no cost of traffic at Tila Braya. Shake a ticket to Parada Bacoso, break at Tila Branda Cate. Shaba Barada Bacoso, Fretila Branda Kaya. Lord, visit us. Turn things around and let your children rejoice over your goodness and faithfulness. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you just be still? Lift your hands. Father, tonight, change stories. Tonight, wipe tears. 
Satan turn captivities around. Let everyone that truly has come go back with an awareness, a conviction that you have done something. And let everyone be able to have a testimony. Everyone. Everyone. There is a place where my heart cries for. There is a place I am yearning for. It is a place where deep comes to the deep. I am of a way. I visit long and long. There is a place where my heart cries for love. There is a place I am yearning for. It is a place where it comes to the day. Oh, it is a place of oh, dwelling, Lord. Take us, Lord, to your secret place, Lord. Take us by the hand to your holy place. Let us see your face, your glory, your power. Let us go you more And we have known your love Take me, Lord To your secret place, Lord Take me by the hand To your holy place let me see your pain and your glory, Lord. Let me know you more. Let me know you more. Let me know you more. Cause if you don't help us, where else can we go? No way. We have no hope. If you don't heal us, where else can we go? No way. No way. If you don't lift us, where else can we go? We have no way. We 
Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, if you can, just be seated in the presence of the Lord. Be seated. John 11. Let me just share two scriptures with us and we pray. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Oh, 
Hallelujah. You are here with pain. I think it's, it's supposed to be a condition with a bone or something. You've been healed. It's like an accident. You've been healed. Except that you still feel pain in that location where the, the pain was or the accident or whatever thing. I don't know how to describe it now. But it happened to you. The place is healed. You are fine. The place is healed except that you still feel pain in that same spot where the wound or the fracture happened or something check it now you even came in with that pain the lord just healed that pain right now the lord healed that pain the pain is gone the pain is gone check it you are the one come come check it there was something around there right now you can't feel the pain please come whether you are inside or outside i need to lay my hands on you let the lord just perfect this miracle check it come you realize that the pain is not there something happened long time ago and although the place is healed but you came with that pain check it check it the lord just healed it the Lord just healed it. Even if you are outside, come. The pain just left. Can you lift your hands? I stretch forth my hands towards you right now. Let it be perfected. Let it be perfected now. Let the hand of God be on you and let it go completely, 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 completely now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, check it and do what you could not do. I know you are confirming it's been healed, but check it, do what you could not do. You'll find out the pain is completely gone. Completely, completely, completely. Completely. Can I use you as a point of contact to pray for people? Yes, come. come. Yes, come. God is good. Lift your two hands. There is a grace that is coming on him, but it's coming on 21 other people. It is a grace for financial favor. Believe me, it is a grace for financial favor. It is a grace for finance. It is an anointing for finance. It comes on him, but I see 21 others catching that same fire. That same anointing for favor. At the count of three, wherever they are, oh God, confirm your word right now, right now, right now. 
One, two, three. Take it wherever you are. Take it wherever you are. Wherever you are. Let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. Grace comes on you. Favor comes on you. Let the right people look for you. Let the right people get your contact. Let the right people hear about you. Let it happen fast. Let it happen fast. Let it happen fast. Shabarande koso brate ketila. Jesus. 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 Let it be done. Let it be done. There are people that need to hear about you before this miracle happens. And in the name of Jesus, they hear about you immediately. They will get to know what you do immediately. They will remember you as soon as possible. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please be seated. For those who had the pain and you've checked his gun, we'll take your testimonies later. Let's truly know what happened. John 11. Let me just share two scriptures briefly and then we we'll pray. Spirit come flow through us. Holy Spirit come flow through me. And me. My life, body, all to be Holy Spirit. Come flow through me, Holy Spirit. Come flow through us, Holy Spirit. Come flow. Let's read through for now. A certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. And it was that Mary, which it was that Mary that anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. He said, Therefore, his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold him whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that he, when Jesus heard, sorry, he said, the sickness is not unto death. The affliction is not unto death. The brokenness is not unto embarrassment. He said, but for the glory of God and that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Hallelujah. All through scriptures, there are people God always use whenever he wants to show men the extent of his power, of his grace. He will pick somebody up. Not because he really wants to delay the person or afflict the person. That he wants to use that individual to show the people the way he can make certain possibility available. For instance, Anna. Anna is barren for years. And she keeps crying every year. Although God is hearing, it looks like God is quiet. It looks to me like the life of many. So you keep crying, oh God, when will be my time? When will you visit me? You come for miracle services, people share their testimonies, and it looks like every testimony is, is by cutting you. When will be my time? Anna kept crying. But that when it was time for God to visit her, he didn't just give her a child, he gave her a prophet. He gave her a prophet. 
and that every woman now that is barren and trusting the Lord for a miracle Sarah waited for 25 years if you have waited for 10 years then don't give up if you have waited for 15 years don't give up if yours is just one two years don't give up because there is a reference point in scriptures there is someone that waited that had similar predicament and waited on the Lord and remember from scriptures God visited and then the Bible tells us in Isaiah 51 verse 2 he said look unto Abraham look unto Sarah they are the templates each time it looks like things are not working look for a reference in scripture it looks like your life has been caged then don't forget there is a man in scripture called Joseph in prison and from prison to the palace so that if it look like you are at the back side of the city nothing is working for you everybody seems to be making progress your mates are making progress those who graduated together are making progress God can keep you in training for 13 years and make you a king in one day that's David David was anointed and he was after 13 years he assumed the throne in the wilderness for 13 years so i don't exactly care what you have gone through if god want to use your life as a reference point please start rejoicing because when god is set to visit you he does not visit you casually remember the bible said when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it's not like the lord forget forgot zion he had it in mind to visit them but that he wanted to visit them in a grand style for many of you, what you are going through now has prolonged for a while. But can I tell you why? God prolonged it that long because he wants to glory over that situation. He prolonged it because if the miracle had happened last year, nobody would have noticed it. If the miracle had happened two years back, not too many people would have known what God had done. That as miracle, God will do in your life and it becomes a tool for evangelism. For many, that's what has been happening. It looked like you've been delayed, but God sent me with a word this evening. That he delayed it for a reason, so that when he show up finally, you become a reference point to a generation. Not just to your family, to a generation. Hallelujah. I love God, but it looks like it has been delayed. Lazarus was a friend of God. He was a friend of Jesus. We just read now. Jesus heard Lazarus is sick. It's not fair, Jesus. This is your friend. Why will you even allow him in the first place to be sick? I'm a Christian. I pray. I fast. But it looks like I'm still broke. I'm a Christian. I give. I pray. But I'm suffering from a, an infirmity in my body. It does not negate the fact that you are not born again. Lazarus is a friend of Jesus. And Jesus hears about his predicament and withdraws. Allow him to be sick. The same message he delays to come. The sickness intensifies until Lazarus is dead. Lazarus dies and Jesus does not even show up immediately. Jesus stays back for four more days. Because God wanted the situation to, to, to reach a point where everybody will not assume that it was a miracle. Everybody will know that truly it was a miracle. If your case has been delayed, please cheer up. God is showing up. When he shows up. And hope you know there are kinds of miracles that happen. No man can deny. No man can deny. Acts of the Apostles 4. The, the Pharisees started saying. Indeed a notable miracle have been done. And we cannot deny it. The man at the gate. Beautiful gate. You've been sick. People testify. God just heals some people now. And maybe you've been coming for services and infirmity cannot just go, will not just go. I bring you a word, it has prolonged, but the day has come. The day has come. Listen, you can choose to make this day your day. Believe what the, I mean, the Lord is saying. Believe it. Believe it. And then Jesus shows up and he declares that that sickness is not unto death. I delayed for a reason finally he shows up after four days and the body of lazarus stings he said take me to the grave where you've laid him and everybody's just watching let's watch and see we know that he has raised people that died and then um, it was an immediate thing he came in so we cannot exactly tell whether the person truly died remember there was a child that died 
and Jesus was called upon. When Jesus arrived, the Bible said that people were laughing. When he said, cheer up, the baby is not dead. I'm sure they would have truly assumed, ah, it's like this child did not die. So based on the stories that we have spread in Jesus, and let me delay this one. At least if the baby is dead for one day, two, three days, four days, he would be a fool to deny that miracle. He delayed it. And then shows up after four days. Lazarus. Lazarus. Comfort. And the Bible says, he that was dead, bound, tied, all together, came forth. The Bible says he was bound. His feet are tied together. That's the way they embalm people in those days. They would tie your legs together and wrap it till your head. Your hands are not free. Your legs are not free. But the Bible tells us that he that was dead came forth. How did he walk? God is about to do miracles in our lives that will not have explanations. If the reason you got the job was because you had a connection, then it's not a miracle indeed. If the reason you got the admission was because you had the, the qualification, then it's not a miracle indeed. It is a miracle when you didn't have the qualification, but God shows up. It is a miracle when the people you are looking up to fail and God choose to raise somebody else. For many of us, there are people you thought were going to be instrumental. And at this point, you are completely disappointed. I bring you a word. That's the best posture that in, invokes the power of God. When it looks like the people that were on my side are no longer there. That's the situation God usually looks out for. And in the name of Jesus, he's showing up for us tonight. He's showing up for someone tonight. One more scripture that explains this better and then we'll start praying. Don't plan to talk long. Ah, this sickness is not unto death. This brokenness is not forever. This joblessness is not forever. This HIV blood is not forever. This appetite is cannot kill me. It's not forever. There is a date. Every challenge has an expiry date. I'm telling you. Every challenge every challenge it might not have happened two months back i remember the story of a dear lady that usually come to service with an affliction in fact she kept coming and will not be healed the day she got healed i was teaching on finance on finance it was not a miracle service it was not a power service on finance every day can be your day it can be your day and today i came with the word that god is about to visit somebody this prayerlessness is not unto death. This addiction to food is not unto death. I'm telling you, for many of you, what you will carry to me, I told them in cafe, and let me say it one more time. For some of you, the, the miracle that will happen to you is an impartation of believe it. You will live here wiser than you've ever been. Yeah. Believe it. There are certain dimensions of establishment that only come on account of wisdom. The Bible said, true wisdom is a house built. You see it? Meaning if you are not wise, you never might enter into it. So for some people, the miracle that will happen to you is an impartation of sense, an impartation of wisdom. You will live here wiser than you've ever imagined. Yeah. In case you've been taking decisions that backfire, every decision you take backfires. Please get ready because something is happening to your mind in this service. For many of you, it's an impartation of God's presence. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Oh, son. You are. I suffered my feet to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Oh, my, your mind is so full.
point to a generation believe see momentarily it might not be easy but if god chooses you ah, you might be a, a tenant for two three four years but when you will get ready to bless you with a house it won't be a bungalow you will step into a duplex that's how god does it you might be jobless like so many of you have been for like five years when god is getting ready to give you a job it's a job that one salary settles your debt Let me use Lazarus to prove to someone that no matter how your destiny has been down, one word can bring it back. One word can bring it back. One, not two, one word. Lazarus, comfort. He said, this sickness is not unto death. I bring someone a word of comfort and a word of hope that whatever you've been going through is not yours for a lifetime. I'm telling you, it has an expiring date. And can I announce to you, today is that day. Today is that day. Yeah. John 9. John 9 from verse 1. This is the last scripture and we pray. And as Jesus passed by, take it gradually, maybe you keep the scripture for us. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. The challenge has lasted for long from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? I want to know the source. We've been taught that everything we go for like many of us, maybe you believe that the reason you've been limited is because of your past life. For many, that's how you think. When God forget, forgives, he forgets. Are you aware? He said, I will blot out your transgression and remember them no more. No more. Who sinned? Was he his father or his mother or he himself? Why is he going through this thing? Why is my life limited? And Jesus said, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents. None of them sinned. Everybody read the remaining part. But the works of God should be made manifest. Ah. That he was born like this because God had a plan. He was born like this because God wanted to glorify himself over his guests. God decided to make him a reference. So he had to be blind from birth saw no man until this time that jesus is passing by it was not his sin it was not his mother's sin not his father's sin he said he allowed it like that for a reason god is about to glory over that your situation no believe it he's about to glory over it next verse then jesus said, i must walk the works of him that sends me while it is day he said, the night cometh when no man can walk. Next verse. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Read on. And we have thus spoken. He spat on the ground. <laughs> and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man. Jesus, what's this? Jesus, what are you doing? This guy is blind from birth. If you will cure him, cure him. Why will you add to the predicament? Your eyes are blind, you can't see. And then somebody's plastering your eyes on top. He 
it's like Jesus is saying your situation is not complicated enough to give me glory if I cure you now uh, it will not bring me as much glory as I deserve so let me complicate the issue for many of you over the last few months few years it looked like the situation of your family has become worse for many of you it's even your personal story some months back some weeks back some days back some years back it looked like the thing has become too serious it was better five years back it was the last year is this how this year is going to be your case looked to me like the mud on the eyes of the blind man he complicates the issue and this is even amazing why will jesus use clay and spit you know if i use that now some of you think it's ritual that is man of God. Why will he use saliva and clay? We don't trust him again. This is Jesus and you've not complained about his own. He anointed the eyes of the person. Look up. What's keep the scripture? And said unto him, I did another work. <laughs> Go wash in the pool of Siloam. I don't, I can't see how do I find the pool? Brothers and sisters, you know, desperation has an attitude. These girls didn't have eyes, but Jesus said you should go on. It looks to me like the statement I've been stressing now is true. You don't see with your eyes, you see through your eyes. Because he's blind, there is more than the eyes. And Jesus did not care. He didn't even say, look for somebody to direct you. Jesus said, go and wash. Jesus is talking to him as though he has eyes. As though he can see. Tonight I prophesied to someone, go and build your house. Go and pick your job. Go and enjoy your health. Go and get married. Go and pick your appointment later. Go and start up that company. Man of God, there is no man there. Who cares? Go and get married. Man of God, I don't go and start that company immediately. And by the word of God, help that young man. May there be testimonies in the name of us. You know, when God speaks, he doesn't care the challenge that is here. The man is blind. He has added more to the eyes and he told him to go. How do I see my way? How do I see my way? Go and grow that company. <laughs> Go and buy that gadget. Go and buy that property. Go and pay off for it. Go and grow that ministry. Go and watch. Go and watch. And the Bible says he went his way. <laughs> Meaning he was not truly blind, sir. Not like, not like somebody directed him. He went his way. And then washed. And came. It looked to me like it was not even a physical blindness. It was a mental blindness. May there be an impartation of wisdom. Yes. You see it now? God wants to do a miracle that neighbors will know something has happened. If, if you are the only one still knowing that you have that problem. Uh -uh, uh -uh. you shouldn't be the only one knowing you have that problem it should be that even neighbors are aware <laughs> you know why Jesus will not heal him there if Jesus had healed him there nobody would see that miracle so Jesus sent him to where there were people go to the neighborhood go I know where that pool is he said the neighbors there therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said is not this he that sat and begged? Is he not this guy that has been jobless for 10 years? Is he not this guy that graduated and has been with his father for 3 years? Is he not the same guy that could not pay and cannot pay his rent? Every day the landlord come and challenge him and insult and embarrass him. Is he not the same person? Is he not this woman that cannot move have been bedridden for a while? Is he not the same woman that has been barren? Cannot give birth. Is he not this woman that cannot do anything for herself? She only gets help. 
I'm trying to explain the life of someone and the miracle that is about to happen. Is it not this lady that has not gotten married? All her younger ones have been married. Is he not the same man that all his younger brothers are married and he's the one remaining because there is no finance? Is he not this guy? We know him and we know the challenge. We are not confused about the challenge. We know him and we know the trouble he faces. Everyone has gotten admission except him in that family. Is he not the same person? Is he not the same person? They are contemplating among themselves. Is he not the same ministry that have been around this earth growing? Look up. Keep the scripture, please, media. You don't have to be taking it away. Then the Bible says, some said, this is he. And others said, it can never be happen. Have you ever heard that kind of English? Some said, he, he, he's the one. I, and some said, no. He can never feed. Because how do you tell us that this is the same guy? No, it's not possible. It's like they are saying, it, it, it cannot happen. He's not the one. Forget it. He's not the one. He's not the one. Media, why are you running? Keep the scripture. We are not done. Are you the one preaching? It's my message. Hallelujah. <laughs> And I like the man because although his eyes could not see, his mouth could talk. I've told you a couple of times that if, if, if you don't have money, have mouth. Uh, if the money has not crystallized, the possibilities are, you should have mouth. Use your mouth. I like him. Some said he, he, he's the one. Some say he's not the one. But the man said, I am, I am he. It is I. It is I. Yeah, it is I. It is me. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes open? How did it happen? Next verse, just the A part. And he answered and said, Everybody, the next line. A man that is called Jesus. Stop there. Stop there. A man that is called Jesus. A man that is called Jesus. A man that is called, a man that is called, a man that is called. How did you get a job among 2,000 applicants? A man that is called. How did you get the admission without paying anything? A man that is called. How about the Kosobran de Ketia? How did the Lord heal you of that cancer? A man that is called. How did you build a house within six months? A man that is called. How did you buy a car within three months? A man that is called. A man. Kabate Kosombre Ficatila. Brande so Brande Kaskata. While they are contemplating, asking, are you the one that had that ministry that did not grow for nine years? Are you the one that pastored that church that was limited for three years? You will answer them and say, yes, so. So how did it happen? A man. I might not have an explanation as to how the miracle happened, but I know the name of the one that did it. I know the name of the one that did it. A man by name. So how did the company expand within two years? Within two years, a man that is called Jesus. <laughs> you started small, now your branches have spread around the 36 state of Nigeria. How did it happen? A man that is called Jesus. A man that is called Jesus. You will never be the same Cause you've touched that grace Your life must change You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life must change You will never be the same You've touched 
ashes grace your life must change hey ya hey ya nations the man the man called Jesus the man called Jesus people came into this territory and started it and fell how were you able to succeed the man Jesus 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 you started your marriage plan it's not like there was one time on ground you finished marrying and then come on how did it happen a man a man listen in case you don't have that kind of testimony you are about to have one after this service i mean you are about to have one after this service you are about to carry one from this service the kind of testimony that you know you can't take credit for it Taking credit for it will be wickedness. I'm telling you, you know that I couldn't have done this. I couldn't have done this. The man answered, I am he. I am he. Stop the argument. I am the one. I am. Please sit down for a while. Sit down five more minutes. Keep the scripture. Give it to us from that verse 10. Verse 10. Nine now. Nine. I am the one that had to use six months to gather my rent while the landlord comes around me every day. I am the one that started that business and it could not work three times. It kept failing. I am he. I am he. I am the one that men kept proposing to me and could not marry me. My heart got broken again and again. In case you are wondering the reward I'm enjoying now, I am here. Don't, don't, there is no confusion about it. I am here. I am. Never be ashamed of your predicament. Never be ashamed. Don't hide what you are going through. Let people know what you are going through. Not by announcing necessarily. But there is no point pretending. So that when the miracle finally happens, you don't have to share your testimony. They should know it. They should know it. They should know it. I am the one. So how did it happen? Verse 11. Said the man. The man. A man that is called Jesus. He's showing up over your case tonight. A man that is called Jesus is showing up over that prayer life tonight. You know what the Lord told me? He said, There is a news that will come to many of us. There is a news, it's a good news. And just that one news, just that one news. will attract people to the kingdom believe me you won't have to necessarily call them and preach this will become evangelism by result evangelism by result there is a news coming there is a news coming in the news that you won't be able to hide the glory it will be too obvious too obvious 
tonight I present to you everyone in this building at the overflow following online glory over every challenge a man that is called Jesus we know him we know him we've seen him we've studied him we know his possibilities in the name of Jesus tonight let everyone under the sound of my voice listening from wherever part of the world within this side conference may God glory over that situation may God glory over that long-standing change whether it is a health challenge whether it is a financial challenge whether it is a challenge with career a family challenge relational challenge we know a man that is called Jesus we know him we know whom we believe and we are persuaded that he is able and therefore tonight oh Lord glory 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 over every situation as we begin to pray we know already you are healing the sick but beyond healing the sick not all of us are sick physically but beyond healing the sick why tears you see there are families i'm seeing you are not even the one crying. I mean, you are not crying for yourself, rather. You are crying for, for your parents. You know how far they have struggled. You know how far. But I see the Lord wipe tears. I see the Lord wipe tears. We're going to start praying. But in this holy atmosphere, before we start praying, I see the hand of the Lord come on someone. This will be a confirmation that it's time to pray. The hand of the Lord comes on someone. And then we will start praying. When it comes on you, you can't hold it. You can't handle it. It will be a sign that truly God is visiting his people. Oh dear Lord. Help him. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Help him. Help them. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive Rejoice Emmanuel And ransom captive Blessed is he Who comes in the name of our God, blessed is He who comes. In the name of our God, ah, please, can I flow with what the Lord is telling me? I don't think the travel service is the usual one. The Lord is telling me that there are a lot of entrepreneurs emerging. A lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of young people starting out projects, businesses. Believe what I'm saying. Believe it. Believe it. And listen, go and take that step. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke the spirit of fear. Courage be released into your spirit. Courage be released into your system. Boldness, confidence. And in the name of Jesus, may that business kick start. May that business kick start. In this month of March, I'm seeing a lot of ventures beginning. I'm seeing a lot of ventures, a lot of companies, a lot of businesses. 
you are an entrepreneur here, get ready. Your season has come. Your season has come. Your season has come. It's going to start by, by having this territorial dominion. Territorial dominion. In your locality, you will rise to a level of dominion. Total dominion. People will come to ask questions and to learn from you. They will ask you, how did it happen within one, two months? A man that is called Jesus. A man that is called Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we pray? Already the Lord is doing amazing things, but just stand. Or if you are comfortable sitting, fine, but just stand. Let's pray one prayer. For the church to be burned, for the kings to arise, for the church to arise, for the kings to be born, for the church to arise, for the kings to be born, for the church to arise, for the kings to be born, for the church to arise, for the kings to be born. situation by name then call the lord god of heaven to glory over it he said this sickness is not unto death this challenge is not unto death it is orchestrated for a reason that i will glory over it that the son of man be glorified you're going to pray oh god over the challenge of job over my health may you glory over this predicament now May you glory over my challenge now. Call it by name. Call it by name and invoke the glory. Invoke the authority of heaven. Over it in the name of Jesus. Come and pray. Maybe you apply for a job. Everybody has been called except you. Call on the name of the Lord God of heaven. 
Shabarande Kaska Friend Katila. Maybe you just apply for the job. Call on the name of the Lord God of heaven. Maybe your mother or someone around you or you yourself is barren. Call on the name of the Lord God of heaven. Maybe the ministry is becoming frustrating. Call on the name of the Lord God of heaven. You started a company and it is not growing. Call on the name of the Lord God of heaven. Ask the Lord to glory. Let the Lord glory. Let the Lord glory. Over the hands shall name. Let him glory. Over the pretty color. Let him glory. Shabarataba Rex Katabana. Zoom Paprendes Capriella Nava Patel. Come on, one more minute, call on the name of the man Jesus. That business cannot die in your hands. That company cannot die in your hands. That ministry cannot die in your hands. Come on. He is the Alpha and He will make us whatever He alphas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, so much is happening in the realm of the spirit. I sense the spirit of faith. I truly sense the spirit of faith. We're going to pray one more prayer. You will use your mouth and call for the possibilities you want to see. That man, although blind, his mouth was talking. You will use your mouth and call it for an increase. Call for the expansion. Call for partners. Call for the rent. If I be yours, call for the new house. Call it for a car. Call it for another realm in the spirit. Lift your voice and pray. Call for the possibility. Call for the result you want to see. Call for the possibility. My mouth cannot be closed. Call for the expansion. Call for the marriage. Call for your healing. We will soon pray for the sick. But call for the healing. You will be the one God will use to bring your community thanks to you. I call for the encounters. I call for the angelic visitations. I call for the expansion in ministry. Influence. Shabarataya. Harvest of souls. Remendes Kabratos de Fretila. Barande Separata Bakatela. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a dimension 
that used to be obvious in your life a spiritual dimension now either a gift or something and then for a while it has not been there i wanted to use your mouth and call it now the lord just laid that in my heart it was not part of the prayers you will whether it was vision whether it was revelation whether it was utterance whether it was the gift of healing miracles call it forth now i sense the spirit of faith call it forth i remember i used to have prophetic dreams i remember whatever i say come to pass i remember i used to prophesy to my family members they called me names they called me prophets they called me a businessman because money was not lacking in my hands all of a sudden it ceased there is an anointing in this house i call it back i call it back i call it forth lazarus come forth lazarus come forth declare let that gift return let that gift return let that gift return let that ability of the spirit return Yeshua, when we call you, you will answer. Yeshua, when we call you, you will hear. For God's not name, no name, greater than you. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Lift your hands. It please the Lord to start from here. Lift your hands. Jate kora fali menisa. Kento rasa vreketi kiti balada braje de bech. Enklata razotayaka. Lift your hands. Can you just be still wherever you are? Lift your hands inside, outside. Just be still. Lift your hands. Shalom everywhere. Lift your hands. Shalom. Lift your hands. Inside, outside, be still. Don't be distracted. The gift things you've mentioned, you've called them back. They are returning. Believe me, I literally see mantles. It pleased the Lord to start from here. Some of you, you used to experience the presence of God before, but it's coming back now. I see dreams being restored. I see visions being restored. I see the presence of God being restored. I see the gift of healing, miracles, the prophetic being restored. Lift your hands. Father, let it return now. Now. I see massive impartation. Some of you, it's your time with God. That fellowship of the Spirit. Lord, at the count of three, give it to them. They've requested and called it forth. You ask me to please now. Now, 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 now. Mantles have been given to the church once again mantles are returning to your life tonight those giftings are returning to your life once again oh dear whisper the name jesus just whisper whisper it again again he said the man called Jesus again 
whisper it again again whisper the name again seven more times again six more times again four more times again ah! something is falling three more times again lift your hands high lift your hands again now lift your hands we are whispering that name for the last time and i see mantles falling again It's an impartation. Receive it. The gift of healing is returning. I see fire on your hands. The gift of prophecy and visions is returning. Fire on your ears, on your eyes to see. Shara teke teke palataya. Branteros kapreteka. Lera te so prande petila. Kaprate te so parate kete. Outside, take it. I see those gifts, those mantles being returned. Be restored, be returned, be restored. Your own is that the presence of God you used to feel. You don't remember the last time you felt that atmosphere. Lift your hands. Father, take not thy spirit from me. Cast me not away from your presence. We desire this glory, this presence, this mantle of your presence. Let it be released now. At the count of three. You will shout Jesus. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Receive it now. Carry that mantle. Go with it. Shabarataya. That atmosphere of God's glory is being returned. It's being returned. It's being returned. It's being returned. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Those of you on this road, can you lift your hands? Lift your hands. This row, way to the back. Father, I stretch forth my hand. I see grace, multiplied grace, multiplied grace, multiplied grace, multiplied grace. And I stretch forth my hands right now. Let there be a release of that grace now. 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 Help them now. Receive it. Receive it. Go with it. Change things around your business your company your ministry receive that grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace let the god of all graces i see the same grace now spreading like 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 a river it is spreading everyone lift your hands that which you carry is about to be increased that which you carry is about to be increased at the count of three is about to be increased one Two, three, take it now. Multiplication of grace. Shata kata kata ya. Rande soprati kapala tela. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Tonight I pray by the God of heaven, and I decree that whatever is lacking in your life, let grace bring it to you now. 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 Listen. The Lord is telling me that about eight people, eight of you, you've been crying for clarity. Listen, the confusion now is about ministry. You've been crying for clarity. Eight of you, is there plenty of you? Eight, eight. I pray in Jesus. I stand here and I declare something is about to touch your eyes now you will feel something touch your eyes ah dear father bring light bring light to their eyes 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 and in the name of jesus that which you seek the clarity that you seek is coming to you in this season. It's coming to you in this season. It's coming to you in this season. 
you will not walk in darkness you won't run ahead of God you won't be behind him in the name of Jesus I bring you into alignment in the name of Jesus may you walk in season let it be done and this season this period the clarity is to you it is coming to you in the name of the Lord Jesus I want to pray for families especially stretch forth your hands representing your family after this we minister to the sick you might be the only family in Abuja no problem let it start from you and reach to any other person father I curse the spirit of empty handedness it is a spirit for many money comes but no one can account for how the money goes no one for many, it does not even come. I, I stretch forth my hand over your hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare abundance. 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 I cause empty handedness. I decree abundance. You will dare things that you've never dared in your life before. And in the name of Jesus, the grace for speedy accomplishment. Money comes by the scatters. I arrest that devil now. I arrest that devil now. May everything God give you profit you and your family. May it profit you and your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are sick in your body. Or you are standing in for someone. If you are standing in for someone, you lift your hands. If it's for yourself, place one in that place of the infirmity. If you are just standing for someone, you can lift one hand and that's fine. Or two, you can. But if it's for yourself, place your hand where the infirmity is. I believe. Just be still. I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. You sent your word and it healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Precious Spirit of God. You sent your word and it healed my disease. is telling me he's healing people with eye conditions now eye condition you came in with eye condition either you can't see clearly or pains in the eyes whatever is wrong with that eye please check it now check it now notice you've been healed come out quickly and in the name of Jesus I'm seeing pain around the neck region the Lord heals that pain right now 
the Lord heals that pain. Check your eyes. As the word comes, the healing follows immediately. Believe it. Check your eyes. Either you could not see with one of the eyes or you could not see completely. Let them just come. Give them space to come. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every form of bone conditions. Again, I hear it. Bone conditions. The Lord heal you now. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. Let that infirmity go. Let that infirmity leave. Let it leave. Let it leave. Let it leave. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I rebuke every form of ulcer. You came in with ulcer, stomach ulcer, ulcer of the heart, maybe a, a, a scar, a wound on your leg that is ulcer. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heal you. Now check that ulcer is gone. Please run out quickly. Run out quickly. Run out quickly. Run out. You came in with every form of infirmity in your body. In the name of Jesus, I decree you are being healed now. You are healed now. You are healed now. You are healed now. Your ear cannot hear. I decree in the name of Jesus, Ephata. Let that ear get open right now. Let that ear open right now. Let that ear open right now. Let that ear be open now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, as the word come and your situation is mentioned, begin to try yourself. Check it. You will realize that it's gone. The healing, the miracle follows the word. You sent your word. And it heals your disease. You are the Lord. My Every form of growth, fibroid, lumps, growth on any part of your body, I take authority against you right now in the name of Jesus. Let that growth dissolve right now. Let that growth be healed right now. Let that growth dissolve right now. Let that growth be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, who was it that was diagnosed with heart condition? Either a hole in the heart or heart condition. I might not know exactly the name, but it's heart condition. Check it right now. You came in with that pain, but the pain just left. The pain just left. The pain just left. The pain left. The pain just left. You were, you were, you were thinking it's appendix, and I think it's so because a surgery would have happened to you soon. But I see that pain around your stomach region living now. God is healing that pain. Maybe you are even aware it's appendix or something. Right now, you can't feel the pain. Check it. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are the Lord. My healer. Holy Spirit. How I well come in this place. Holy Spirit. I would welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Any part of your body that is dripping. Water, watery substance, either your ear, your eye, whatever it is, it dries up now. It dries up now. A menstrual circle that has not ceased for long, it dries up now. It dries up now. It dries up now. Migraine headache that have lasted for weeks, for months, it goes right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, wherever you are, can you lift your hands? I want to pray generally for every form of infirmity. For those that are being represented, the Bible says, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healings in his wings. I take authority over every infirmity presented. And I stretch forth my hand, I declare in the name of Jesus, let the healing power reach them right now. Let the healing power of the Lord reach them right now. Whether in their homes, in hospitals, we command that they are healed now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And every form of infirmity represented, arthritis, 
every form of disease i declare in the name of jesus your time is up come out of them in the name of jesus come out of them in the name of jesus come out of them in the name of jesus every form of blood condition hiv arthritis sickle cell hepatitis i declare in the name of jesus your time is up come out of them be healed in the name of the lord jesus be healed in the name of the lord jesus diseases that we might not even know the name diseases caused by demonic manipulation diseases caused by witchcraft oppression in the name of jesus i'm even seeing people who started having pains as soon as you dreamt a particular dream in the name of jesus you are healed right now you are healed right now you are healed right now in the name of the lord jesus listen we're going to shout go at the count of three then you will begin to check yourself wherever if it was your legs that we have caught we were having pain you will check them if it was your eyes check them if it's your ear check it if it's your body any part check it as soon as we shout go sicknesses are going to check out now lift your hands wherever you are spirit of victory spirit of god hover over this crowd inside and outside online and i decree in the name of jesus let every infirmity leave by the authority of god's word at the count of three as we shout go let every disease leave let every demonically cause i mean disease go in the name of the lord jesus one two three shout go 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 in the name of the lord jesus your time is up your time is up your time is up come out of them be healed in the name of the lord jesus be healed in the name of the lord jesus be healed in the name of the lord jesus be healed in the name of the lord jesus Shabarata Kabalataya. When you are here, 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 when you are here. Kabaladabaya. Your body be whole right now. Your spirit be made whole right now. Your soul be free from every form of manipulation. Be made whole now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever you are, can you stand? If you are seated in case. I want to minister in the crowd. While I do that, check yourself. You notice you've been healed, just run out. You might not even take all the testimonies, just run out. You notice the sickness, the pain just left. Either while we shouted the go or while we pray. Please come out. Check yourself. You don't have to stay back. Check yourself. You are outside. You notice you've been healed. Come in quickly. Come in. Can you lift your hands on this row? Lord, as I pass by these people, lift them from the levels they are to new levels. From the front now, receive it, receive it, rise to another realm rise to another realm rise to another realm around the counseling department and preachers rise to another realm rise to another realm rise Jesus From the door here to the back, lift your hands from the door to the back. Even if it's a pain that has not left yet, 
as I stand here now and I walk past that pen leaves, receive it now. 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 It goes. It goes. Oh, Jesus. your hands anyone that is under demonic influence at the count of three let that demon manifest and get out now one two three out 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus let them go let them go Can you lift your hands? Come and lift your hands. Come and lift your hands. Stretch forth my hands towards all of you on this row. If there be anyone, help her, help her. If there be anyone suffering any form of infirmity, it goes now. It leaves now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus is here. Everything I need. Lift your hands on this row. Let me minister to you row by row. So that I might not have to go in the crowd. Lift your hands. I stretch forth my hands now. Let there be a transfer of virtue. That which I receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. At the count of three. Some of you will step into dimensions unexplainable. Dimensions unexplainable. At the count of three. One. Help her. Two, three. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Jesus, Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Supernatural speed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. On this road, lift your hands to the back. Way to the back. There is no distance. Some of you are truly hungry for God. It's not even physical, bodily, whatever now. But you need God. You are truly hungry. I see it on this road. Your hunger is reaching out to me. And in the name of Jesus, I stretch forth my hands. Way to the back. As many of you as desire God, let his presence be released on you. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Your life never be the same never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus on this road can you lift your hands oh dear I mean is he tonight you want to carry something fresh whatever has not worked for you you are about to carry something tonight lift your hands and this is purely the presence of God presence of God is, is a very powerful currency. You can get through it whatever you want and desire. I stretch forth my hand and at the count of three, Lord, find your people out with fresh graces, fresh fire, fresh dimension of your presence. At the count of three, one, two, three, take it now. Take it, help me. Take it, way to the back, receive it. At the back, take it in the name of Jesus. Carry it. Let it change your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, never be the same. Check it, the pen is gone. Take it, check it. Stand up, do what you could not do. Stand up, do what you could not do. Move it. Lord, 
has healed me. The Lord has healed me. Keep doing what you could not do before. Unless somebody attend to her, let's know what's wrong with her. Oh, yeah. Carry the presence of God. Another measure. Another measure. Holy Ghost. Another one thousand. One thousand on this road. Hey, 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 stood before you and will not give way tonight in the name of Jesus let it give way let it give way let it give way let it give way in the name of the Lord Jesus listen whatever God started through you cannot die in your hands whether a business whether school whatever it is God started through your hands it cannot die in your hands even if it was dying, I speak life to it right now. I speak life to it right now. I speak life to it right now. I decree in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has cost you, cost you tears, cost you pain, cost you delay, cost you setback, cost you frustration. You lay your hands on it, it looks like it's work, working. After a while, you are frustrated. In the name of Jesus, I arrest that devil right now. I arrest that devil right now. I arrest that devil right now. You are going forth to come back with testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There are things only the present world can accomplish. And I decree for those things that are only tied to his supreme presence in the name of the Lord God of heaven. May his presence rest upon your life today. Like a mantle, let it rest upon your life today. And whatever could not respond to your certificates, whatever could not respond to your uncles, to your calls, to your connections, may it respond to the presence of God this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You believe your time has come. Shout Jesus at the top of your voice. It is done. Everything in your life that does not carry the signature of heaven, it leaves right now. It leaves right now. May God use your life as a reference point. May God do through you what we might ask come ask questions. You are not too young. Don't even look at your age. For many of you, you are the one God is waiting for to lead for your family to enter rest. I pray in the name of Jesus, may you come into that rest. In the name of Jesus, may you enter into your Canaan. Enter into your Goshen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. From now, you will be called Hephzibah. 
You will be called builder. You will be fruitful. You will excel. To everything that was going down in your life, I introduced the presence of God to it. You believe your time has come. Lift your hands. Bless the name of the Lord. More than 1,000. Check yourself if you find you've been here, please come just take your test. Lift your two hands, Isaac. Something comes on you fresh now. Now. Now, help him. Now. In the name of Jesus, never be the same. Drink of the fountain of the Spirit. Listen, this service is tied to entrepreneurial grace. Please don't forget. Many of you will start up new things this month. Some of you don't even know how it's going to start. Some of you don't even have a plan now. As it is, you don't even have a plan. It's because of what God is going to do. God is going to do something that will make it kickstart. Believe what I'm saying. Some of you don't even have the plan now. Some of you have the plans already. But there is something God will between now and 31st of this month. And something new will start growing in your life. Believe it. Something new will start growing in your life. Let's just take five, maybe five major one here and there, and then we'll, we'll pray. While everybody just remains standing, can you just stand? Except if you are pregnant or something, then now we'll suspect you. If you are not married and we'll see you sitting, we'll know what to ask you. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Deborah, she had um, eye condition for about three years. I've gone to um, physicians and all of that, and there are no avail. But then while the prayer was going on, she received her healing. What exactly was wrong? He said I had infections in the eye. Came with feelings, you yes, have pain or something. Yes. Infection of the eyes yes, for me. three years. Yes, now you can't feel anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Lift your two hands. In the name of the Lord. It goes never to return again. This healing is perfected. And whatever has infected your life and destiny, it leaves now. It goes now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is done, perfected. Go and enjoy your eyes and your sight. 
And mama, mama, please come forward. Mama came with bags of sickness. She came with hepatitis C, ulcer, leg pain, and all of that. And they have lasted for about 10 years. About 10 years. And mama, you can't feel, you can't feel. But I hold my, hold my. Mama, it is gone. Go and enjoy your health. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is perfected. In Jesus' name. Can you celebrate the Lord? God bless you. Yes, let's just take two more. Maybe two Amen. From there, two from there, yes. Amen. Daddy Florence Salem um, came with pain in the left, left side of the tummy and said this pain has lasted since last year. She went for um, a test and it, they, they, they told her she had an uh, appendix. But at this stand of the world, that pain is gone. That pain left. I remember mentioning something like that. Lift your two hands. It is gone. They won't be operated upon. Let it go completely. Go and enjoy your health. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then Emmanuel came with an eye condition that has lasted for over five years. He said he couldn't see far. And when he came, I told him to look back and see if he can now see far. He said he looked back and now he can see very far. You can see very far. You can see clear. Very clear. Lift your two hands. Father, this sight is perfected. Five years condition gone. That it never return. Help him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And that is, yeah. yeah, you spoke about um, a condition of the fracture that somebody had in time past, and that the fracture was healed, and then the pain still remained. Now, um, Mercy Michaels um, wrote to us and told us that um, she had a fracture that lasted for over four months, 11 years ago, and then this pain, this fracture is healed, but she could still feel the pain, pain. and then she had to get used to the pain until she can now work with the pain. But at the start of that world, she can no longer feel the pain. You that she refused to come now. out. You can't feel the pain. Yes. Has lasted for 11 years now. 11 years. And now you can't feel it. Let this healing be perfected. Go and enjoy your health. You can't get used to pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whoever is carrying any pain and you are now becoming comfortable, you are managing it and, and now you master the pain. In the name of Jesus, may that pain never master you. Amen. Let it be separated from your life now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's take two or three from here and then just pray. Amen. Um, Daddy, our lady here was healed of ulcer by the instance of the word ulcer. How long has it been? Since I was in school. Since you were in school. Yeah. And that's quite a long time now. The Lord perfects your healing. Go and enjoy your health. In Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, Alfred here was healed of tooth that lasted for three years. Tooth egg, three years. You came with the pain. Now you can't feel it. Go and enjoy your health. Bite whatever you want to bite from now. Help him in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are here. And that Monica was healed of ulcer. She was healed of pain that caused her ulcer in her stomach. It is gone. It starts from the chest. From the, it and it flows to the it stomach. It will flow to the stomach. Yes. How long has it been? Since last year. Since last year. Now you can't feel it. Yes. And you came with that pain. Yes. My chest was paining me one side. Now, can't now you it. can't feel it. Yes. It is gone. Yes. It will never return back to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Go and enjoy your health. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Maybe we'll take a few more. Just here. What was wrong with you? Did anybody take the ulcer too? The Lord has perfected that healing. Go and enjoy your health. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, Daddy, Beth Samuel was healed of neck pain at the instant of the word. Neck pain. Let that pain completely be gone. It will never return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Gone. And Zachariah Zephaniah was healed of eye pain instantly. How long has the pain been? Sir, it has been for more than four years. Sir. More than four years. And now you can't feel it. In the name of Jesus, go and enjoy your health. In Jesus' name. But you might not take or just come. Let me lay my hands on you. It is perfected. It's been since last it year. It is gone now. In Jesus' name. Someone slapped you in the dream. You are the one come. It's not a funny thing. Because it's affecting things in your life. Someone slapped you in your dream. Come. Not 
Tosa is gone, never to return again. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands, bless the name of the Lord. Who is that person? You are ashamed? You don't have to be ashamed. This is about your life. Slapped in your dream. Come. Uh -uh. This is what I'm talking about. The name of Jesus. We slap the person back. <laughs> Whatever effect that is supposed to have on your life, I reverse it now. You see what's happening to her? You see what's happening to her? We reverse it. It's not a normal thing. And of course, the person will receive his own. <laughs> so whatever was intended is reversed back right now. Right now. Right now. If there is anything you specially trust the Lord for, you will mention it now while I pray the last prayer and we close. You are following online. There is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. I release the healing power of God right now through the waves. And I decree that wherever you are following from and you are sick in your body, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we decree miracles all around. We declare miracles everywhere. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for whatever belongs to you financially and has not been released, you are following the part of this country and the world at large, we decree that let it be released immediately. This month is declared your month of unceasing breakthroughs. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is done. In Jesus' name. You are trusting God for something special, whether we've mentioned it or not. Talk to God about it. Something that must happen this month. Is there anything... Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Yeah. Talking to the Lord about it one more time, declare. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. According to our confessions and declaration, I re I retreat it right now. I re-emphasize this month. You can never go down in shame. Anything that has the ability to embarrass you this morning, I wave it out of your life. I wave it out of the happenings in your life. And this month, I compel into your life groundbreaking testimonies. Phone shaking alerts. Phone shaking alerts. Groundbreaking testimonies. Encounters that will take you to the next level spiritually. Visitations that will take you to the next level spiritually. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever you've desired of the Lord, I stand as a priest over this house. And I declare, let it come to your doorsteps. This month, let it come to your doorsteps. This month, let it come to your doorsteps. This month, let it come to your doorsteps. Whatever is running dry in your life, I command that let there be a replenishing. Let it be replenished. Let it be replenished in the name of the Lord Jesus. This month, go on against favor. Enjoy favor. Enjoy abundance. Enjoy favor. Enjoy abundance. 
enjoy graces in the name of the Lord Jesus it is well with you in Jesus mighty name lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord give him praise 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 Give him praise. Zabrando Shafila Cabreda Catila. Jata Caparato Suveli Menes Catila Cradish. Bless him and thank him in advance. Before the manifestation, thank him. Thank him. For some already, the manifestation have happened. Thank him in advance. Before you see the physical and tangible result, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Brando Sopra Vriketila Car. In Jesus' mighty name. While everybody stands, you know you are here, you are not born again. Wherever you are, whether inside or outside, your ways are no longer right with God. Or they used to be right, they are no longer. Or you've never been born again at all. This meeting is not complete until we give you an opportunity to come back home. Wherever you are in that category, Please let's just stand to honor them. This is the last thing we are doing and we close. Sorry. Wherever you are, inside, outside, you are saying tonight, I resolve to come to the Lord. I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray with you. Wherever you are, lift your hands. Lift your hand. Just one hand. Lift your hand up. I want to pray with you. God bless you. Even if you are outside, lift your hands. Lift your hand. You are saying today, a new beginning for me. I will no longer go back. I've made up my mind for Jesus. Lift that hand high. I want to pray. Lift high. God bless you. All right, your hands is lifted. Can you run forward? Come quickly. Come, come. Just come. You are from outside. Please double up your steps. Come quickly. Let me pray for you. Come. There is no name, no name greater than you. You are coming from outside. Run quickly. There is no name, no name. Don't be the last to come. There is no name, no name, no name greater yeah. than you. Oh, yeah. There's no name, no name, no name greater no than you. Keep coming, keep coming. There's no name, there's no name. I'll join worship summit. I'm rehearsing for you today. Amen. All right, you are here. This decision is a very powerful decision. I want you to place your heart on your, your hands on your chest. I want to lead you in prayer, the Bible way to believe Jesus. And from today, he becomes your Lord and Savior. Can you pray after me? Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he's a son of a living God. I believe he died for me and I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ the Lord of life and from today I receive by faith eternal life I'm born again now and I'm a child of God thank you for saving me amen and amen father I pray for your sons and daughters I decree that the name of the Lord be named upon you May Satan lose claims and ownership over your lives. May addiction lose claims over your lives. And from today, you are released to love the Lord. You are released to walk with Him. The new life you've received is established. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for making up this decision. Please take this way. Let this young man with a suit direct you, and then they will attend to you outside. God bless you. 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 Keep celebrating them. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for making this decision today. God bless you. 
this meeting is complete with you making up your mind for Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right, while they go, can we bless those who are here for the first time? Today is your first time here. You've not been here before. We hope you've been blessed by this message. Keep walking in grace. For additional information, follow us on our Facebook page. Or you could visit us on our Telegram page, Family Worship Experience International.